Hey, Sally. I was just fooling. Don't go in the house. I know Alexander isn't coming over. Hey, Sally, I believe you. That's right. Get mad and go in and slam the door. You'll be sorry. All right. I knew Alexander wasn't coming over. Couldn't take a joke. My gosh. Well, well, well. Hi there, Cecil, my good boy. What are you doing? What's all the yelling for? Where'd you come from, Alexander? Oh, right up the sidewalk. What were you yelling about? What are you doing over here? I uh, decided to give Sally a treat and drop over. Step aside, funny face, and let me go up these steps. What do you mean by sneaking up on somebody like you just did? Well, what do you mean by sitting on Sally's front doorstep, yelling to yourself? I wasn't yelling to myself. Not that it's any of your business. Well, you've got a nice voice, Angel Face. You ought to go in for a hug call. Well, thanks, I... Hey, what do you mean? Might I ask if you were sitting out here looking at the moon? You might. Uh, why don't you look at the moon at your own house? You might. What are you talking about, silly? You better be careful who you're calling, silly. All right, I'll keep your secret. What are you so red in the face about? That's some more of your business. Well, step aside, then. I'm going in to see Sal. Ha. <laughs> Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Well, well, you're not. And do you know why? Listen, Seth, do you know who I am? I've met you, but it's been no pleasure. Are you going to try and stop me from going in to see Sally? Well, she's not home. She's not home? Are you deaf? Why isn't she? I should answer riddles. Oh, but I told her I might drop over. Well... Well, she's not here. Uh, I know. I've been here for an hour, and she, uh, well, she, she went away someplace. Where? She, well, she, she went to the dentist. At night? Well, this dentist only works at night. He, he went to night school. I, I'm going to wait for her. I'll tell her you were here. Well, thanks, thanks very much. I'll wait, too. Well, you better not. She's going to be gone a long time. She can't be over an hour. Hey, why don't you show some sense and beat it, Alexander? Listen, Angel Face, why should I beat it? Well, well, because uh, cause Sally won't be back till late. My name's Alexander, the kid from history, that's me. Yeah, well, sh don't talk so loud. Keep, sh you know. Why? Well, uh, <laughs> you see, Mr. Smith is sick. He, he's upstairs. Fine, I'll just ring the doorbell and say howdy. That's me. Keep on the good side of the old boy. Let me by. Hey, hey, now don't go in Sally's house now. Get out of the way. Listen now, now don't ring her doorbell. Will you get your carcass off the steps? Alexander, you see, Mr. Smith is asleep. Uh, how do you know? Well, uh, he, he came to the front door a minute ago and said, uh, Cecil, are, are you going to wait out here for Sally to come back from the dentist? And I said, yes, Mr. Smith. And then he said, well, I'm going to try and rest. Uh, will you keep anybody from ringing the front doorbell? And I, I said, yes, Mr. Smith, and you don't want to be bothered. And he said, no, Cecil, I'll be mad as heck. All and then right, I said, well, all right, I'll just sit down here and wait with you. All right. <laughs> all right. Sit down and wait. You better not make any noise, though. Sally would be heartbroken if I didn't give her a chance to see me again. Uh, I said something. I heard you. Funny how girls are attracted to me. Ha, 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 ha. I don't know what it is. Alexander the Kid, nobody fooled. I thought it was Alexander the Kid from history. It's all the same, all the same, that's me. Say, uh, Alexander. Uh, you talking to me? Uh, yeah. Say, I want to ask you something. Yeah? Then where'd you get that tie? Oh, this? Why, do you like it? No, I don't go in for rummage sales. <laughs> oh, uh, well, 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 Alexander. Well, what do you want? Uh, you know, Alexander, uh, I like you. I, I sure do. Well, I'm like that, you know. Alex the Great, that's me. Well, I sure do. I, I think you're a peach of a fellow. Sally sure ought to like you, too. Ought to? Why, that girl's already gaga when she sees me. Uh, I guess every girl that knows you is, huh? Well, some people are like that. Well, why, Cecil? Well, well, I like you, and... Uh, I'd like to be a friend of yours, you know. Well, uh, it's all right with me. You're all right, I guess. Well, yeah, that, that's fine. You know, I was telling Sally how much I like you. Yeah? What did she say? Well, uh, you know what she told me? Uh, go ahead and tell me. I won't let on that I know. Well, 
Do you know Sybil, the girl that lives next door? No. Why? Well, that's fine. I mean, well, uh, you ought to see her. I'm not bothered about her. What did Sally say? Well, I sure like you, Alexander. Well, she said that Sybil saw you the other night. Yeah? What's she like? Some dizzy dame? Oh, oh golly. Oh, I should say not. Didn't you ever hear about Sybil? No. Who is she? Oh, Alexander, golly. I thought you knew about her. Gee, she's the best-looking girl in this town and popular. Oh, say. Well, it's funny that I haven't met her. Well, it sure is. But then it's hard to get a date with her. All the boys are crazy about her. Good-looking? Oh, I should say so. She ought to go in the movies. Well, and she lives next door there. Yeah, well, anyhow, what I was going to tell you was what Sally said. Well, what about this girl next door? How old is she? Oh, about 17. Well, what Sally said was this. She was talking to Sybil, you see. Uh, and her name is Sybil? It's a pretty name. Good looking. Well. Uh, so, so I was talking about you to Sally, and, and she told me that the girl next door, that Sybil, well, she had seen you over here the other day. Yeah? What else? Well, Sybil told Sally that she sure would like to know you. She fell for you just from seeing you the other day. Yes, sir. Well, she must have been hanging out her window. Oh, Sally said that she raved about you. And she's not the kind of girl that raves about every boy she sees, either. Well, uh, maybe she'd, uh, well, you know, I'd like to know me. Oh, Alexander, she's just dying to meet you. Oh, but then I guess she never will. She's so popular, you know, owing to her being so pretty and so smart. Say, this old pal, do you know a devil? Oh, yes. Well, uh, as I was saying... Well, uh, I was just going to ask you if... Uh... Oh, never mind. Well, you know, she might be home tonight. One night a week, she won't go out at all. Uh, you want to chase over there and I'll introduce you? Well, uh, as long as Sally isn't home, y you're sure she isn't? Oh, she's not home. I wouldn't tell you that, would I? Being such a good friend of yours? Oh, of course, Sally's gone to the dentist. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take you over there and I'll introduce you to Sybil and, and then I'll, I'll have to beat it. Now, now, be real quiet and don't make any noise getting off of Sally's porch. All right. Come on, now. 